Welcome to today's five-minute Bible study in the book of the Exodus. We're in Exodus chapter 25. We're beginning to look at the tabernacle. Most of the rest of the book deals with the construction of the tabernacle according to God's directions, highlighting the importance of this place of worship to the children of Israel. But before we begin to look at the very details of the tabernacle and its furnishings, I want to notice one thing more that's very important about how the tabernacle was built. Notice in chapter 25 of Exodus, the first couple of verses, the Lord says to Moses, tell the Israelites to bring me an offering. You are to receive the offering from, for me from each man whose heart prompts him to give. Did you hear that? You are to receive the offering for me from each man whose heart prompts him to give. The furnishings for the tabernacle were to be provided by a free will offering. The Israelites were invited to give to this worship center, to the construction of this tabernacle. They were to give the materials and the furnishings and the needed items that would be used to make the tabernacle their place of worship. But notice God says, ask each Israelite to give as his heart prompts him to give. Isn't that wonderful? What a wonderful way to receive an offering. There's no pressure. There's no motivational techniques used to try to manipulate people to give. Simply, as the Lord directs you, give for his work. And of course, the offering was abundant. They had more than they needed, we're told, for the construction of the tabernacle. And I believe we in the church could learn a valuable lesson here. When we worship together as God's people, we are to bring an offering with us as the Lord moves our hearts. We are to give generously to the work of the Lord in the place that we worship. And God's people always do that. But you know, sometimes it, it seems we in the church don't really trust God. And so we get involved in, in stewardship campaigns or we get involved in raising money techniques. And it seems we want to use advertising techniques from Mark, uh, Madison Avenue or, or marketing techniques from the world of business as if we have to, to learn how to manipulate people to give. I just, I just don't believe we ought to do that. I think what I'll do is say, we're trying to do the work of the Lord here. If you're with us and if the Lord moves you to give, give what he directs you. And I am convinced that if we'll just trust the Lord to move his people, then they will give what is needed for the work of the Lord. I've never known the church to suffer financially when God's people simply give as the Lord directs them. I really do believe sometimes the, the campaigns we get involved in to raise money are more about our lack of trust than anything else. Why don't we just trust God to provide what we need? And why don't we just ask God's people, as the Lord moves, you give. And if God moves his people, they will give. And we'll have more than we need to carry on the work of the Lord. That's what happened for the tabernacle. God said, tell the Israelites, as your heart moves, you give. And they had more than enough. Now, talked about the offerings they received all the furnishings of the temple, you might ask, where do they get these things? They had just come out of slavery. Uh, where do these provisions come from that they made an offering of? You remember when they left Egypt, they plundered the Egyptians. You remember that? After God had visited the plagues upon Egypt, the Egyptians were so desirous to see the Israelites go that they gave to them. That's really their pay for 400 years of enslavement. But they plundered the Egyptians and took many possessions with them. That's where these things come from, that they now give a free will offering unto the Lord. I believe this is the way we should raise our offerings in the church. We should simply say, this is what God has called us to do as the church. If God has moved your heart to be a part, then give as he instructs you to give. Give as the Lord moves you to give. And I believe if we'll take that strategy, if we'll just work in faith like that, I believe God is more than able to supply the material we needs we must have in the church. To do his work. The Lord said to Moses, tell the Israelites to bring an offering. Oh yeah. Receive the offering from each man as his heart prompts him to give. And there was more than enough. There always will be if we just let God move us in what we ought to give. May all of us, the offerings we give to the Lord, be prompted by the movement of our heart toward him by God's direction and nowhere else. Amen and amen. Hope to see you next time in our continuing 
uh, studying the book of Exodus, we'll begin to look at, in detail at the furnishings of the tabernacle, this place of worship for the children of Israel.